Before I used Astro, I used to use Hugo, and there's one feature I've always missed, the ability to create new files from the CLI. In fact, I've even been part of a GitHub discussion talking about how this needs to be part of Astro. Now, there's a lot of complexities because of the way that content collections work, but at least for content collections, I found something that has helped me, and I wanna share that with you today. Hey, what's up? My name is Chris, and welcome to Coding in Public. I've started a new Astro project here, and you can see I've chosen the blog template, so nothing else but the stock blog template you get with the CLI. So if I wanted to add another post like this, I would need to come into the content blog and just create a new file. So I could call this like new post.md, and then I need to fill this all with front matter. That's the beauty of Astro's content collections is they enforce this front matter schema. So I could come over here and just copy all this and paste it over here, and now that would work, but then I've got to replace each one of these strings. Now, obviously there's only four here, that's not a huge deal, but when you have front matter that has eight or 12 or whatever number of items here, especially if they're arrays and other things like that, it can become tedious to have to remove all these strings and then replace them with the actual text you want. Wouldn't it be nice if we could do this from the CLI? That's what I wanna show you now. So if I jump over here to this project, I ran across this little tool a couple of weeks ago online. I don't remember where I saw it, but I thought it was super interesting and it basically fits this exact use case. If I scroll down here, you can see that you can just do MPX new MD and then blog or wherever their folder happens to be, and you give a title to the, the file. And notice it will just scaffold it out for you like this. Now, in order for that to be the case, you do have to set up just a little bit here. So if I come over here, you'll notice, see down this way, this is the config. We've got something similar over here. And then what you'll need to do is create a secondary config where you can basically copy it over. Now, I'd like to see this to where this is all part of the MPX command where it can like take an Astro config and convert it for you. But for now, you do need to come to the root of your project and create a new md.config.ts file. Now, the nice thing is I should be able to copy over a lot from over here. So we're actually gonna grab, let's see this schema right here. And let me shut down the sidebar just so we can have a little bit more room. And I'm going to type export default and eventually we're gonna pull in define config, and we'll pull that in from new MD when we get a chance here in a second. Now the path here is just from the root of the directory. So in this case, I think they have it set up as in the SRC folder under content and under blog. Am I remembering that correctly? Yeah. So this is where my schemas live. I'm just going to enable this one. We'll call it blog since that's what it is, and I'll just paste in everything uh, from the actual schema. Now, right now we've got a lot of stuff yelling at us and that's because we need to actually install a new MD. So let me come over here, npm i, and we'll do new MD. Now you could just run it as an npx command as well if you'd like to, but let's go ahead and grab this right here. And just like that, that takes care of everything else. So the Zod here, this looks like they packaged this inside of new MD. And then you also have define config and this is its own little thing where it's probably some kind of just extension on the way that Astro does that. I haven't looked too closely into it. But now the cool thing is I can just run the command. So I can run this right here and it will generate that for me. So it creates a new file. And in fact, if I come over here, let's see, hello world right here, you'll notice it gives me the title, whatever I've typed in, because I said this had to be a pub date, then it actually generates that for me automatically. The description, the hero image are obviously blank for me, which means I can fill them in as needed. Now I've noticed a few limitations. It doesn't seem to do too well with references between collections, but you could just have like an empty array and then fill those in later and it doesn't know what to do with referenced image files. So there again, you could just add a string for now. Now, of course, if you want to, you can add a like script here. So I could say something like, I don't know, we'll call it like post. And I'll go ahead and paste in everything else except for the actual name of the file. That means I should be able to come over here and do npm run post. And I'll add after here like hello too. And just like that, it creates hello too. Uh, right over here, same kind of thing. So you may want to add something like that so you don't have to remember this every time you use it. Well, I hope that short video was helpful to a very precise audience of those wanting to make new files based on a content collection schema. Now, there's lots of cool tools like this popping up all the time with Astro. I've got a few more I want to cover, but if you've got your own favorite, let me know down below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Happy coding.